Is this move killing your golf swing? In today's video, we're gonna talk about what this move is, are you potentially doing it, and if you are, how to correct it. Let's get into it. Right, so hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Jack Lee Golf. My name's Jack, this is Jack Lee Golf. If this is your first time around here, please consider subscribing. We've got plenty more videos of this nature coming out very soon. So, this killer move, let's think about what it is. Uh, I'm very fortunate to teach quite a lot of people and one common thing that I see amongst slicers, so if you're not a slicer then unfortunately this video might not be for you today, but if you are, then one thing that I see which is very common in a slicer is that we get a club face which is twisted open very early in the backswing. So once we take it to this first parallel position, we're noticing that this toe, instead of pointing up to the sky or even 45 degrees to the ground, is past that 90 degree angle and we see it very open. From here, as is the case, if the club face is to get this far open, it's either going to require a huge saving mission in that release, which is going to require a lot of rolling of the forearms, which is another potential disaster move, or, which happens in most cases, is that we just tend to leave that club face open, which results in an adding of loft and a face that is twisted open to our target and to our swing path, which causes that left to right curve. It should look a little something like this. might have been able to see on that occasion that that ball slides quite aggressively to the right and it's almost put us in the trees. It should have put us in the trees. It was that bad a shot. So what I want you to start thinking about now, if you are to rectify this situation, if you want to start solving your slice problem, if you want to start hitting it straighter or even potentially drawing it, one thing that I would like you to do early in your backswing is feel as though this club is twisting approximately 45 degrees to the ground. Some people talk about this club face matching your spine angle, which is something that I'm a big fan of. The big thing for me is that the less it's twisted this way, and the more it's twisted this way, you have then got more of a chance of squaring or closing that club face. Could be the case you do it too much, in which you're going to close that face too much, and it's probably too big of a draw. But let's get out of this, and let's get into this. If you are to do this, it's going to set you up for the rest of the swing. Now, unfortunately, that is not the be all and end all because what I notice in lessons is that some people can start taking the club away in this manner, but we'll lose that twist later on in the swing. They've then got an open face and then we've still got the slice. So it's imperative that whatever twist you're putting in to get to this position, you're keeping it throughout your swing. And here are a couple of checkpoints for you to watch out for. So. We've obviously got at the first parallel position, club twisted down to the ground by 45 degrees. When we take it up to the top of our backswing, one thing that I want you to look for is for this club face and the angle of it to match up to your lead arm. Or even, if you were to overdo it, let's get that loft twisting towards the sky a little. The more that you can feel that going off, the less chance you've got of opening that club face. If we are to see the toe point down to the ground in this manner, that is going to result in an open face, which is then going to result in a slice, you guessed it. So let's see some strength in this face and let's see if we can retain the strength in this face. And when by the time we get to that impact position, we should have a little bit of forward shuffling and we should have a nice square face. If you find doing this, it's very hard for you to twist it down to the ground. One big indicator is that your grip be, might be a little too weak. And what I mean by your grip being too weak is that as you look down, you probably can't see any knuckles because your hands turn this way on the grip in your left hand and your right hand might be too far on top. If I were to put my hands on in that way, it's very hard and it requires some serious wrist angles for me to start pointing that club head down to the ground. So if that is the case, what I want you to do is twist your left hand so that you can see See two to three knuckles then on your right hand I want it to not be so far on top as what it probably has been prior just move it round to the side if you can create a V with your thumb and your forefinger you either want to see it point straight back up to your sternum or even to your right shoulder so a couple more knuckles on your left hand and then a slightly stronger right hand as well that should then mean it is a little easier for you to twist that club down to the ground and then from there we've got a better chance of delivering a square a club face let's put that into practice let's see if I can now apply uh, potentially my new grip, definitely a new twisting of that club face. And let's see if I can deliver a square of club face and eliminate that slice. Nicely down the middle. Lovely. So, if this is something that you recognise in your golf swing, those are the ways on how to stop it and hopefully how to cure your slice. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you're doing all the usuals of liking, sharing, subscribing. Stay tuned for plenty more content coming soon. I hope this tip stands you in good stead. Leave me a comment in the section below if you manage to 
have a go at this drill and let me know if it happens to cure your slice. I'd love to hear it. If you are from the Doncaster area, lessons are available. I will leave a link in the description to my online diary. All my lessons are here at Ickleton. We are out here on the 18th hole at Ickleton today. And that is pretty much it from me today. So again, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.